and sit this way. Okay, now come back. Go in the hole. Click on that. Okay, never mind. The sphere shaped recess. What is going on? What is where no is where come back. Come back, come back, come back. Wait. There was a thing above the door. Not that door. The, the other door. Not that door. The door to the set in. Yeah, place. I know, that's the one I put in that was it say, oh, can there. I get that back? What is that door up there? Oh, um, um Okay, so wait, no, oh, I know what you're doing wrong. What? Touch that text on the wall. The three lines of text. Oh hey. We're idiots. There you go, now go in the hole. Okay, now I need this. Now go in the hole. Put the hole in the thing. Yeah, because the cracked ones will explode. Yeah. Hey, the be sates here. Oh, god damn it. Put that spear back where it came from, so help me. Put that one back. Pick up this lotus spear. Pick up this one. Now I'm gonna put that and uh, that one. This one over here. Okay. I'll get the exploding one. Put it in the door. Put it in here. There we go. There we go. And, and it makes that go boom. Now, if now I remember correctly, wall. you take that other sphere and put it in that hole. I take this sphere. Yeah. And put it in that hole. Yeah. Now go all the way back. In that hole. Nope. So you put it in the hole in the wall that you just unlocked. Yeah. It's only really makes sense. I mean, yeah. I just, I, I want to figure out the hidden area. I'm, I'm almost positive there's a little hidden area in here. It's a box. A rod of wisdom. You were, you obtained a rod. You can obtain hidden items by using. Yeah, that. Okay, so yeah. That was the hidden item. Okay. Well, then why are we supposed to go? Put the spade sphere in that, that thing. I put it in this one, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. I think you have to put it in the other one. The one against the wall? Mm hmm. Yep. I know, I know. Everyone's screaming at you now. Probably. There we go. Yep. Now you go forward. What types to do, Hippie? Yeah, I knew that thing moved. Yeah. Oh, I'll take the sphere. And yeah. it's gotten into you. Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. Good for them. It's a tradition. I mean, yes. nothing stopped us, so. right? No one stopped us. I'm a guardian. No, like, you got angry with this, and I was just like, oh, it's fine. Our guardian? So essentially, Walker just went, oh, goddamn asshole. Yep. Alright, I'll go get him. Someone is going on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. You know, it's like Mecca. But it's all over the world. Not just one spot. One of them's got a sure view, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, that means. Now that we come this far, might as well go all the way. Hey, -o. I mean, that just sounds like date rape. Whoa! Now that we've come this far, that's just creepy. No, but I that date rape, like, 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 it's, uh, it's just coercion, maybe. Not date rape. God, took that to a dark place, Robbie. I did. 
just because I'm a horrible person. This has been a 20 minute episode. Right. It's Lulu. Lulu is the best. Not just Lulu she... gets the weirdest outfits, though. She's the best, so it's not just because. Her, like, belt armor? Yeah. She gets. Yeah. It's like a dress made of belts. Yep. I mean, not just because she has cleavage for days, but. I never really liked Lulu. She's no. kind of a bitch. I know. I mean, she'd have to be there to put up with Waka. Yeah. Just saying. Spoiler alert. Cutscene. Hey, look, it's the girl in the box. Who apparently wears a bikini for a bra. But whatever. Yeah, whatever. You can tell we're getting tired. Oh, no, I'm falling on the stairs. Big cat unicorn's got you. And... I like his ring, uh, his chain mail. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's gauntlet. Yep. It's a Japanese weave. Ah. Uh -huh. For those of you who don't know what that means, that means that it's a weave that has been traditionally made by the Japanese. That's not at all what it means. Oh, what does it mean then? It's... Honestly... And we're back to game graphics. How can you tell? Because everything suddenly looks shittier. That's alright. Man, was I surprised. Yeah, so was I. I'm surprised it took us that long to get to that puzzle. <laughs> yep, so that whole puzzle was completely useless because you could have waited 10 minutes and it just come out. Yeah. Really? No, I mean, like, as far as the plot goes. Oh, yeah. Had he just waited instead of just rushing in, oh, well, what if she's dying? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But then, you come out. but then you wouldn't have gotten the Magnificent Run. No, I wouldn't have gotten the Magnificent I told you there was a hidden room with an item in there. I think you were. Well, as we get to a certain point, that is the end of this episode because we are at 22 minutes. Yeah. Oh my god, that's long. So next time on the Bigger Brothers Gaming, we will continue Final Fantasy and we will find out what's going on with the summoner thing and why people are being so moody. Uh, more cutscenes. You ran into a cutscene. I, I can't get to the fucking save thing. Alright, well, it might be a 25 minute episode. We'll find out. We'll finish this cutscene. Ready? If need be, maybe we can just have Brian split it in half. And... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think she summons Ifrit right here. No. She summons something. She summons a giant fire demon in the center of town. That sounds like great. I think, I think it's the Thunder Pony. No, the Thunder Pony you don't get till way later. I like the Thunder Pony. I don't think, maybe you don't get Ifrit till no, later. No, Thunder Pony is like the second one you get. No. Yes. I think Ifrit's the second. No, Thunder Pony's the second. No. Yes. No. Yes. Probably none of those things. Probably. See? Oh, no, that's right, Phoenix. Yeah, it's the bird. Uh, Wyvern. Oh, no. It's Wyvern. Uh, uh, I want to say it's called Aeon or something like that. No, it's Wyvern. No, you may have named it that. Because no, you can name them. It's Wyvern. I think. No. It's probably something like Quitsakata Quitsakata Coco. No. Why does the bird have boobs? I, I don't know. Why does the bird have boobs? It's breasts. What? Chicken breasts. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chicken actually has breasts. I like its little piercing. I don't know if it's a piercing or not, but... The little jangly chain thing? Yeah. You ringy thingy. So essentially, we're accompanying a Pokemon trainer on his Pokemon journey. On a Pokemon journey. It's a little scary. I mean, kind of. She's gonna go to different places and towns and collect them all. From it. I mean, sure, there's the religious aspect to it, but. Balfour. Balfour. We were completely wrong. We were, I named it with her. We are going to name it. To name it. Where are you going with this? Where are you going with this? Chicken? Yes. We're gonna name it Chicken. Alright, let's find Bunga. Can you look at the K? Yeah. It's over there. Where's your alphabet? I know my alphabet, but breaking it up into three columns like that is confusing. Yeah, well. Ends on the right after K. Yep. <laughs> Next episode, we'll try and find out if Robbie is indeed illiterate or not. No, the one you want to hit is confirm. Yes. I remember that night 
Someday. Someday. Someday we'll get to see I remember it. that night we talked for the first time. But after that night, yada yada yada. Everything changed. Bounce go out wow for me. Bounce go out wow. We are clearly losing our mind. That's fine. Brian, we want to chunk this up into like two episodes. This guy here. Yeah. Two 15 minute episodes. I let him on the team. Either that or. No, just do two, two 15 minute episodes because by the time this cut seems over, it's going to be time. Yeah. And we can just record another intro at the very end of this episode. For the second one. Or we can. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Uh, hi, guys. You can cut it in. That's fine. So what's our goal? Victory! Oh, that's close enough. No, no, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory. Oh. To win every match, defeat every opposing team. That's a little optimistic. Bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's did you ever be, actually win the tournament? No. I did. Yeah, but you probably I did, played the you entire probably tournament, probably, everything. You probably did the stat pumping and like finding the people in the world. And, oh, yeah. And, Are we doing that for this playthrough? God, no. Good. Hey, I do want to try and win the tournament. I'm going to try very hard to win the tournament. But hey, oh, Satan. Hey, oh, Satan. Oh, not... See Kyle. No. And on that note, Hang we'll on. see you next time. Hang on. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> I can't get to it. It's hey, literally just, just on the other side stop. of this courtyard. This is why I just told you to stop. I can't, though, because this is the last play. We have the to last end play? of the day. Yeah. We have to get to a save point. Uh, I remember uh, how plentiful they were earlier today. I know. They were like every two steps. They gave you one, then they sent you to an area with one, then yeah. they sent you to another area with one. Wasn't I not supposed to? Guess I kind of over. Yeah, I guess you did. You also whined about a lot. Oh, no. I was oh, overconfident. She's kind of whiny, too. Yeah, they're a perfect match for each other. But she's not nearly as irritating as Riku. That's amazing. Yeah, that's... Fine. Really? Hi, Riku's not In right. fact, you know what? The only characters I like are the big blue cat dude. The big blue cat dude? Oh, uh... uh and, uh... Ar. Uh... Calamari. Calamari, yeah. Kimari. 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 So, tomorrow then. I almost called him Kimchi. <laughs> kimchi. Same boat, aren't we? We're naming him Kimchi. What's happening? Or Calamari. Huh. Huh. No high five for you. <laughs> Leave him hanging. Tell me all about Giggity. Where are your other half of your pants? Yeah, she's not my time. Yes, or she's not. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Yeah. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Not with those pants. <laughs> Not with that weird ass gauntlet on your I had a bed made for you. Uh, the gauntlet's the coolest part of the outfit. You get tired, you're sleeping on the couch, punk. Do God. Stay away from the. Hush. Rude. Save point. Talk Where, to please? Talk to Walker. You gotta go to bed. Fluff a cop. Talk to Rude. Walker. You gotta go to bed. Yes. Good. Sleep tight. I've been ready for bed for half an hour. Right. <laughs> for the last 15 minutes. Alright. Butt shot. That butt though. No. I don't know if that's a dude or a girl, so I'm not going to comment. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. I mean, that butt. That butt. That butt though. No. I prefer female butts. What is this? More hallucinations. Uh, are you playing? Yeah. Uh. Oh, look. It's the chick you just met. Where's the boat? Where's the boat? I was on. Uh, find us if it doesn't come soon. That's very confusing. That's kind of creepy. That's also kind of dirty. <laughs> this whole sentence is an old conversation right there. It's really dirty. Would you take me to Zanarkand? Is that a euphemism? Yes. Won't you take me to Zanarkand? Uh, awkward jog. I'm just, I'm just jogging over here. It's fine. Oh hey. He's having an awkward sex dream. That's what he's having. It's exactly what it is. I told you not to get any ideas. Well, can I get ideas about you? No. Yeah. Uh, this is awkward. So you're coming with me. This is awkward. Hey, stop dreaming. Oh, God, no, it's bad. What if it's just like a giant form of sin with like googly eyes and a mouth? Hey. <laughs> Shut up. Brian. 
You want to post a photo of giant sin with googly eyes on it, a little mouth? That would be hilarious. Just right there, just bam. Whenever he talks, on the screen, please. What's gonna happen is the words no are gonna be right there. Huh? What'd you say? You have to. I have to take this opportunity to apologize to Brian on camera because I'm also doing timestamps for my episodes on my other channel. By the way, other channel is Defective Units, spelled with just a B, D E F I T I V. Units, U N I T S. And um, he, he he said my exact feelings about you. What was that? I hate you. No, oh, that's good. And so I'm writing timestamps for those episodes, and like they're like clearly annotated with like. Please just let me save. Clear like. Oh Brian, dear please God. Do this. Brian, please do this. This, this might be Brian, three episodes. No. No, I refuse. At this rate. I refuse. See, look, look. It's a dress made out of belts. That's amazing. It's cool. I actually saw a cosplayer who made that. Yeah? It was really cool. Did she, like, do, like, a, a petticoat or something and then wrap them all around it? Well, no. What she did is she actually made, like, took all the, and made all the different belts and just stitched them lightly together. Oh, wow. To sit in the right positions. Okay. That's cool. oh, it was an exact copy of that. It was really cool looking. That's awesome. Where do you find these things? On the internet? Yep. Yeah. What else is there? Where the hell else would I find them? I cons. I mean, I don't go to that many, so. Momocon 17. Yep. We're going to be there. Hopefully. I mean, not that we'll be famous by this. Scary. But, you know, promotion. We're going to promote the crap out of them. That's what we're going to do. Chapu. Chapu. That's, that's going to be a, I'm going to write that off. That'll be a business trip. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, that's totally how it works. Don't you know that? That's how you avoid taxes. <laughs> it's a business trip. I was there for business. We didn't make it. I think you have to make money. This is depressing. I think you have to make money for something guys like, ugh. I think you have to make money for something like to be actually to be considered able to take off on your taxes. No, to write off, uh, you have to. It has to be a business expense. A uh, business account on an expense on an account. And uh, it I has mean, to be travel something. Travel is an expense. We don't even care about the fact he's talking about his little We're brother died. It's fine. It's fine. But it's fine. It, yeah, it has to be an expense uh, that is business related, and you have to be able to prove it's business related. I can prove it's business related. Marketing. It's business related. Yes, but... Travel is business related. We have to go to market. It's like if we had a booth there or something, we could possibly write it off. It might be early enough we could get one. No, it's not. They're sold out. Oh, dang. Also, they're expensive as balls. Yeah, but also I know the guy who's like cousin or brother like run started it. Okay. Yeah, so... Oh my god! Save this is a safe sphere! Please, no more talking. Slowly... Slowly. Ever so gingerly. Slowly. <laughs> oh my god. And with that. Not that we don't love you all and didn't want to hang out with you for longer and longer and longer, but. It's been 33 minutes. It's been 33 minutes for one episode. That's way too long. Brian, cut it in half. Anyway, cut it in half. We are, uh, we'll, we'll see you next time on the Bigger Brothers Gaming. We will be continuing to play Final Fantasy X, aka Daddy Issues the Game. And with that, bye bye. Have fun.